everyone and welcome to round five of the International GT Open here from Spa Franca Jumps. The penultimate round in the championship and the fight for that championship very close indeed. Leading the way is Teo Martin Motorsport. They are currently on 85 points after a second last time out. However, beating them to the flag at Monza was the AF Corsa team and that leaves them just eight points behind on 77 points. Disappointing race too, sadly for Tia Thorpe. They are now on 70 points, 15 points back, but they are the reigning 24 hour of Spa champions. So definitely ones to watch coming in to Spa this weekend. Well, let's look back at when it all started it, for the second time this season. We had the Bentley leading us down towards turn one. Bit of a difficult start for Oyman Racing by TF Sport to the right of picture there. They were passed by Stefan Ortelli straight away at the start as Ollie Milroy got on the front foot and got himself up into third place in the early stages of the race. This was Abriel, Nick, uh, Louis Prenzoy making his way through into fourth place at the start as they made their way up Eau Rouge for the first time and onto the Camel Straight. Brilliant racing in GT Cup Open Europe for Stante versus Manel Cercada. And we had lots of battling going on for eighth place as well. Jens Lieberhauser going through past Marcelo Hahn eventually. As, uh, Chris, as Patrick Koprinski also got through. This was the moment he did it up Eau Rouge. There you can see Jens Lieberhauser going past Marcelo Hahn and also going through a little bit of side-by-side -side contact. But Koprinski would also go through it into ninth place. 28 minutes in, the pit stops would happen, and after them, Vince Abriel was the one who got to move forward. This was when he went past the Yannick Bettler, got the run out of the chicane, and eventually completing that move at La Source. Brendan Irwin did lead after the pit stops, but uh, started to drop down the order. Enrique Chavez there going through to take position. This was the moment for Stante took the lead on Daniel Diaz Varela. Joe Osborne going through, and then we had Alan Stante go through and into the lead, and he would never be seen again. But uh, Vincent Abriel would drive the car to the win with Enrique Chavez back in four. That closes the gap to just one point going into tomorrow. The cold temperatures are not helping, obviously. Uh, the start was quite tough. Uh, the first few laps mainly. Once uh, the tires got up to pressure, I managed to close down the gap to uh, Mirawari, and then we were catching back the Bentley and uh, Stefan, which also made a, a great job. But I mean, uh, first race uh, in Spa this weekend and first win, it's uh, it's quite cool and it's such an amazing track and obviously Vince finished it in the right way, so nothing more to say and uh, we'll see tomorrow where we, where we end up. It's all good for the championship, Vince. Yeah, it's time to put some pressure now. I think uh, we're in a great position. We've got a fantastic team. Um, I really enjoyed myself. That's what I told the team on the radio. I, I, we had a really good car today. Um, I, pushed like hell in the outlaps because uh, I knew we were going to make a difference. Louis was really fast in the race but was a bit stuck behind the McLaren. So he told us that you know there was a, a bit more pace there and uh, I used everything I, I could. He did such a good job this morning and uh, overall in the weekend uh, I think we've got a strong pairing. So tomorrow's going to be tough. We have a lot of time in the pits so we can, uh, we can take a coffee but uh, we will uh, push like hell like always and uh, keep the pressure on. Let's look back at the highlights from the race then. Leading the way was the AF Corsa car. Vincent Abril led us down towards turn number one after a brilliant start as he turned in towards La Source. The TF Sport car there being challenged for second in the early stages of the race. All got through just about safely through turn one, but that would not be the case going into a Rouge. Negro picking up a problem. Lieberhardt, Freund and Schultz went to dive down the inside. There was contact. And unfortunately, that would see further damage to the right rear of Negro's car as he would then have to come in and retire from the race. Great battles, but this was Nico Vidonk taking the lead over Aldo Vestante in the GT Cup Open Europe Class. The two would have a great battle in the opening half of the race. Pit stops were next. Vincent Abril came in to hand over to Louis Pret. They'd have to stay in for 100 seconds, which put them on the back foot for the rest of the race. Their charge back through the field was made a little bit easier with the likes of Valentin Pierberg moving out the way. This was Oli Milroy going up the inside of Marcelo Hart. Contact between the two. No further investigation post-race. 
Fabrizio Trastani jumped in the car and immediately started to get on the front foot. That was when he went past Sally Ulick. However, he had a 15 second penalty, so we're dropped to third. But taking the win, their second win of the season, up towards the line, it would be Teo Martin Motorsport, who will now have an eight point advantage going in to the final round of the season. Ramos and Chavez on the top step. By the mythical track, so it was amazing to, to finish P1. We were chasing this win for, for a long time and finally we, we got it. We didn't do pole, we had to do from P3, but in the end we, we managed everything well. Good place for Miguel, good place for me and the, the, the end result was P1, which, which uh, leaves us both happy. Miguel, of course, a lot of pressure in the final laps, but uh, nothing seems uh, to bother you. <laughs> no, it was okay. Uh, I was controlling the second. Uh, then uh, Fabrizio came along, but I knew that he had a, a, a penalty because they refuel. Anyway, it was a good victory, good for the championship. And I want to dedicate this victory to Fabrizio's father because he's in hospital and uh, he's a very good friend of mine also. So, to him.